If you want a business that is affordable, easy to maintain, and simple to operate, a trailer rental business may be perfect for you. In this video, we will cover how you can start your trailer rental business, including step-by-step -step instructions on setting up your business, selecting your trailers, obtaining appropriate insurance, and attracting customers. First let's talk about the why. Why is a trailer rental business so attractive? The answer is simple. Regular people need trailers for a variety of reasons and many don't want to invest the money to buy a trailer when they may only need to use it for just a short period of time. They may need one to move, dispose of trash or large items, or go on a trip. Regardless of the reason, you can easily meet that need by renting out small utility trailers at an affordable price. Of course, you can also service the trucking industry by renting out larger, commercial-grade trailers to truckers. In many cases, these rentals will be for much longer periods of time and will also generate much more money per trailer. Either way, your service perfectly fits a real customer need. Okay, now let's turn to the meat and potatoes of this video. The first thing you'll need to decide on is which type of trailer do you want to but and rent out. To figure that out, you need to understand the various types of trailer that are out there. What types of trailers are there? Now, it's worth noting that trailers come in many shapes and sizes. As I just mentioned, they can include large trailers that are used by semi-trucks to haul freight as well as smaller utility trailers used by regular folks to move furniture or to haul away trash. You can start a rental business for any of these types of trailers but you need to bear in mind that your customers are going to be different depending on the types of trailers you will be offering for rent. Semi-truck trailers. If you want to get into renting out trailers for semi-trucks, you are talking about very large trailers. These are not trailers you can just store or park in your driveway or garage. Some of the most common types of trailers used by semi-truck operators are dry vans, refrigerated trailers called reefers, flatbed trailers, step deck trailers, dump trailers and tank trailers. Of course, if you are going to be starting a rental business, you will want to know which types of trailers are in most demand in the rental market. The overwhelmingly popular choice is dry van trailers because they are the most common type of semi-truck trailer you see on the road. It's basically the rectangular shaped trailer that you see everywhere and is often used to transport clothing and household goods, non-perishable food and drinks, building products, and other common items. Trailers for pickup trucks. You can appeal to pickup truck owners as well by getting trailers that will attach to a special hitch on the bed of the pickup, known as gooseneck trailers or a standard hitch on the back of the pickup, which are referred to as standard trailers. Some of the bigger trailers can serve pickup trucks operators who want to haul fairly large loads as a commercial operator, but if you want to position your trailer rental business to people outside the trucking industry, you can purchase smaller utility trailers that can be attached to a pickup truck for this purpose. How much do trailers cost? The most significant cost to starting your trailer rental business is going to be obtaining your trailers. I did a bit of research online to find average prices for different types of large commercial sized trailers. They are for 53 foot long trailers. I would caveat that there were some pretty broad ranges, but I ignored what I thought were outliers. Here's what I discovered. New dry van trailers run between $30,000 to $60,000, while used ones can be as low as $12,000 to $15,000. Reefers tend to be a bit pricier for obvious reasons, while flatbed trailers tend to run cheaper. If you are appealing to the hotshot pickup truck community, new gooseneck trailers are around $20,000 to $30,000, but will vary depending on size, etc. Obviously, used goosenecks will generally be cheaper depending on their size, age, condition and features. If you want to target the retail customer market, your price per trailer becomes much more affordable. A small 4x6 new open-air utility trailer will run you around $1,200 at Home Depot. Enclosed utility trailers tend to be more expensive and in most cases a bit larger, with prices averaging around $10,000 for a new one. Other Costs of Trailer Rental Business Now it's important to note that the cost of your trailer is not going to be your only expense. You are going to have insurance costs and costs associated with setting up your business. The costs of setting up your business will usually run a few hundred dollars, depending on whether you establish an LLC or other corporate entity whether you spend money on business licenses, and how much you invest in your business website, etc. You may also have marketing expenses and, and costs for storing or parking your trailers. All in, however, your overall costs for these types of miscellaneous expenses should be far less than the costs of obtaining your trailers. How much money can I make renting out trailers? As of the date of this video, according to coop.com, you can make $1,455 per month renting out a single commercial-sized trailer full-time. That is, of course, 
an estimate and your actual revenue will vary depending on the type of trailer you rent out and the demand for that trailer. I used Coop.com's revenue calculating tool to find this estimate, which you can access below. As you grow your business and accumulate more and more trailers, your revenue can obviously grow too. In fact, there are people who have fleets of trailers that they are renting out on platforms like Coop.com and are apparently making great money doing this. How to set up your trailer rental business If you want to set up your trailer rental business the right way, there are some basic steps you should follow. First, set up your business entity. If you want to get some basic liability protection for assets held outside your truck rental business you may want to consider forming an LLC, corporation, etc. A good and affordable option is Northwest, who offers a package for just $39. If you are interested, an affiliate link is below. Second, pick a name and logo for your trailer rental business. Third, develop a sound business plan. You need a business plan for your trailer rental business, which is just a roadmap for your business. Check out the SBA's free guide on how to develop one, which I have provided below. Fourth, pick the right marketing strategy. We'll cover this in more detail in the next section. Fifth, get appropriate licenses, permits, and insurance. You'll want to check federal, state, and local laws around the type of rental business you will be running and obtain necessary licenses. You will also want to get appropriate insurance for your trailer rental business to protect against lawsuits from accidents and other liabilities. More on that later. How to market your trailer rental business One of the keys to success for your trailer rental business is making sure you have customers coming in the door. Pretty obvious, I know, but I can't overstate how important this is. If you are going the semi-truck trailer route, I think one of the best options is going with Coop.com. They are a rider company, so you know they are reputable. The process is simple, you sign up with them and you can get customers from their platform. When I called, they set me up with an initial consultation with one of their reps to walk me through the process. The rep gave me some helpful tips on what types of trailers do well and the process for renting them out, parking them, and how Coop can help make this business as passive as possible. If you are looking for a relatively low-key approach to your rental business, this platform is worth checking out. Of course, if you choose to go it alone, you can do that as well. This will be necessary if you are going to be targeting residential customers who just want simple utility trailers. First, I would make sure you have a strong online presence. Creating a Google business profile is essential if you want to be found during a Google search as a local business offering this service. You should also get a decent looking website and consider online marketing via paid ads. It can be Google ads or Facebook's ads or even marketing your business through popular platforms like Yelp. Try different marketing strategies and don't be afraid to mimic what works. In many cases, your competitors have already done the trial and error for you. Find out what they are doing to market their business and experiment with that. Don't forget about insurance for your trailer rental business. Insurance is an important element of safely running your trailer rental business. If you work with a company like Coop.com, they will require it. But even if you go it alone, it makes sense to protect yourself with appropriate insurance coverage in case things go sideways. Progressive is a major player in this space, so you should consider them as an option. Okay, so there you have it a basic roadmap on how to start a trailer rental business. Hope this has been helpful, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.